Hey, it's Matthew here in Grenada, the Spice Isle. The Isle of Spice? The Isles of Spice? I'm still not quite sure exactly what the island's nickname is, but we're trying a classic after-school snack today with Rion, and it's a milk snow ice. So at first thought, I thought, oh man, maybe this is just like the bag juice in Jamaica, but it appears it is something quite, quite different. So, right now, we and Mama can, and we both get some some milk snow ices, which are extremely, well, they used to be extremely common. You don't see them much nowadays, but kids love to get them after school and stuff, and we go to get some good ones. It's like they are cracking them, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> They're good. But you say it's not as common anymore to see. Yeah, I mean, there's people that make them, but you really don't see them like as much as you used to. Yeah, because, I mean, I guess it's something people don't buy as much, but I love them. They don't really study them thing again. Mm -hmm. But they are all kind of different flavors, so we're gonna try them out. All right, so these are the snow ice. So the these are all homemade. Home homemade, yes. Whoa. We have Guinness and milk. We have custard. We have Kool Aid, and we also have um, peanut butter. Whoa. Yep. And there is one that is strawberry and and and, and um, custard. The pink one is strawberry and custard. So Rian, did you grow up with having these after school then? This yes, is a regular it, thing I used for to, you? so I went to school in Rainbow Junior Academy. We used to pass in telescope and get by a woman in telescope all the time. Fortunately, she, unfortunately she passed away recently, but she used to make, she used to make them and we used to love them. Yeah. Wow. So mm -hmm. which one's your favorite? I like it. The Guinness one sounds wild. Yes. Yeah, Guinness and, Guinness and milk yeah. is good, but personally the peanut is my favorite. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say peanut sounds yeah, yeah, peanut is great. All right. Which one do you want? I'll try a peanut one too, I guess. Peanuts. Whatever you recommend. Um, Which one is a peanut there? This the one looks peanuts, like a Guinness one. The peanuts one. in the middle here. All right. The, 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 the brighter yellow is the is the custard, and this is the peanut. Okay. You can wash them off. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, can I get them soft a bit? Sure. And then the Guinness is right. the brown one. We have the two peanuts and the Guinness and milk. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so there you go. That's a peanut. Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so you just bite off a corner. Yep. So this is this reminds me of the bag juice in Jamaica, this yes, side of it. Yes, mm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you just bite the tip off mm. and you start sucking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so good. Yeah. These are perfect after school. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When well, it's hot like that, like no? Wow. Starting the Grenada trip off right. Here we go. That's good. It, it actually tastes healthy. <laughs> yeah. It's not just bag juice, just sugar and water. You get some nice whole milk creaminess, mm -hmm. some good uh, peanut energy. I don't know. That's good. Mm -hmm. I can get into that. Is there to give you a kick? It kind of freezes your hand, though. What do you do about your hand? You just have to pour it. Oh! <laughs> and. Mm. Morning, Juma. Morning, bro. How are you? Yourself? Respect. Are you well? <laughs> Everything good. Nice. Whoa. You'd think I'm Canadian and I could handle just a, a cold hand, but I'm <laughs> I'm wussing out already. Yeah, this is great. It actually tastes healthy, too. Much healthier than a bag juice, I would say. I'm much filling now. Mm. Yeah, very filling. Very filling? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So is there a favorite flavor with kids? Like I know you said yours is a peanut, but what do most people like? Well, I think it depends. Some people do like custards with different flavors, so they'll have like the blue and the pink and all kinds of stuff. Personally, I always used to gravitate toward the pink because I like strawberry flavors and stuff. But I think it depends on who you are. A lot of people like Guinness and milk. Guinness and milk is yeah. pretty good. Even the Guinness kids and milk is a classic. Well, not the kids, hopefully not, but yeah. sometimes maybe. <laughs> So it is the Guinness with alcohol in it then? Yeah, yeah. What? Mm -hmm. That's a wild one. Okay, I'll have to try that one next. That one, this one here. Okay. Guinness and milk. <laughs> Very authentic one. Yep. So how many would you have after school normally? Just one or two. As you said it's filling, right? I would say about two I used to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nowadays I probably just stick to one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But I usually buy a good bit, keep them in the freezer and have them when I'm ready. Yeah. These are good, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Purchase. Yeah, kids nice. Come, the kids come to get. You want one? Which one you want? Yeah. Later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice and soft. Oh, whoa. Okay, so Guinness and milk. And I know people make the punch with the Guinness and milk in mm -hmm. Caribbean or soursop, which. That was a surprising one to me, first time I had it. So yeah. Let's see how this one goes. 
have some pulp on the fridge already just to um, get it together. So maybe I'll try it with the Guinness sometime. Whoa, that has a kick already. <laughs> oh man. Get things started off right in the morning with a Guinness and milk. Oh man, I like that. Yeah, this is too good. This is definitely one I never heard of before. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's a classic one. Yeah. yeah. This seems more like an afternoon or evening one, but still good in the morning. Why not? Yeah, he's real. That's Uma, you grabbing one? Yeah. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'm Which one are you gonna have? Um, what can I? I have the one. Making a sandwich. Yeah. Chacho. Chacho. How <laughs> <laughs> are? <laughs> what you got there? This one's a Guinness and oh. milk one. Same thing too? That one's peanut. Oh. They were like, man. They were like, they were like. <laughs> they're both pretty damn good. Yeah, they're both good. <laughs> so would they sell these in town too? Like right in, in St. George's? I'm not sure if you could get it in St. George's like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm not sure if somebody does have, I'd love to see, but I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta venture out. You gotta, yeah, you gotta look. You gotta find people with it. And you don't you don't need any sign for your business. Everyone just knows everybody where you knows. are. You okay. don't tell one person and everybody is like, yeah. okay. I'm going to be for life. Yes, ma'am. All right, there are more customers now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm proper thing. Yes, yeah. Ma proper, absolutely. proper. <laughs> I'm telling you. Thank you so much, Auntie Esther. You're I appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. It was a beautiful first experience. So where can people find you if they're right in Right in Crochet, behind the health center. What we normally call the place Goat Hill. That's our nickname for our place. Behind the health center in Crochet. Okay, I'll put a pin on the map so anyone traveling yes. around Grenada can come visit you yes. and get these amazing snow sure. eyes. I was very impressed. So. Thank you. All right. That is definitely a unique one. You're gonna want to try this if you're in Grenada. Just click show more for a link to see where Auntie Esther's is on the map. Thank you to Rian and Juma for showing me around. And this is a very nice one. Beware of the Guinness one in the morning. I kind of have a bit of a buzz now and it's a little early to be feeling that. But anyway, very much enjoying it. You gotta come here, check out the snow ice of Grenada.